Today is my brother and sister-in-law's baby shower. And while I am already an aunt to two nieces and one nephew, this is like a very special addition to our family. This will be the first child, the first addition to our family since my father passed away. <sighs> Last summer when, you know, it was still kind of fresh that he had passed away. I really hate when I get emotional after I've done my makeup. <laughs> like if I could just schedule my crying, you know, in the early morning before I get ready, that would be great. So it was the beginning of summer and I was walking to the community gym and I walked by the pool and there was a grandfather in the pool with a kid and I could tell that it was a grandpa just because of the way he was talking to the kid. It wasn't like a father teaching the kid how to swim. It was the kid's grandpa. And I realized that if and when Taylor and I ever decide to have children, they won't know my father. I'm filming a video, but it's making me cry. I heard you say your dad, so I figured that might be inevitable. <laughs> life goes on. Like there is new life entering the world. One life has passed and it's not like, you know, our future generations won't know him. They'll know all about him. There are endless stories to tell about that man. And I'm excited to tell them, but it's just, it's a very exciting day because it'll be a very fun party, but it also just reminded me that it's just a weird feeling and it's weird emotions when there is new exciting life coming into this world and there's someone, there's something missing. Whew. Okay. Okay. It's time to go. Boom, baby. So we started with dessert because the line for food is pretty long. I'm just gonna stick to dessert. I'm gonna go get rice krispie treat. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. So we were supposed to guess what is what? That looks like chocolate. The one that looks like chocolate. It's definitely not brownie. <laughs> <laughs> all right we just got back from the baby shower and since we are podcasting so much Kevin, something that's always bothered me is the sound in this room and i record in here a lot and now we are recording in here a lot and it's time to make it better so in typical fury fashion we are doing this all by ourselves in one day instead of possibly hiring a professional or, you know, taking our time doing it. And the funny part is we already went to Home Depot once today to get these moving blankets to use as sound dampening blankets. And our current situation is requiring another trip to Home Depot. Of course, this is what we're currently working with. Tiffany's going to Home Depot. You're going to Home Depot or am I going to Home Depot? Taylor has to take all of these off. You have to take all of these off. Yes. I get to stay here. I'm always the one that goes to Home Depot. I'm going to stay here and mess around. And I'm going to say I worked the whole time. But really, I just sat and drank coffee. One of us has to make dinner. Oh. Home Depot outfit change. room my studio where I film everything has come a very long way those sound dampening panels squares whatever they are used to be on the wall behind me behind where I film because that used to be Taylor's studio and in 2020 when 2020 happened we decided that I should use that to film 
my stuff in instead of him writing music in there. So we completely changed it over the years. It has developed into a new space and it just continues to develop as we continue to use it for different things. So this has been a very big adventure and it continues to be a very big adventure, which I'm super grateful for. Was that really all we needed? Just this? Maybe. Hey, hey. I think that was it. Huh. Wait, for real? That's so quiet. <laughs> oh, crap. That's crazy. After years. Years. I'm still gonna paint, but that's for another day. I got water to worry. I'm tired. I'm finally drinking my coffee today. It is 2.22 p.m. I'm all out of sorts today. I woke up at six something very briefly and I woke up again at 8.30 and then I thought it was 10.30 for whatever reason when I woke up. And the next thing I know, it is 10.30 and I'm waking up. So I uh, must have mentally told myself, hey, you need to sleep until 10.30 <laughs> apparently. But I woke up and there's like a, I don't know if sty is the right word, but like a bump on my eye and it hurts really bad when I blink. Isaac is coming over to pick us up because we are going to the Hollywood Bowl to see John Williams, which I am very excited about. The last time we were at the Hollywood Bowl, the only time I've been to the Hollywood Bowl was when we were performing with, what's his name? Weird Al. So Taylor and I were in the 501st Legion, which is a Star Wars costuming organization for charity. And we, I don't know why we were picked, but we were, uh, which is hilarious because I am like the shortest stormtrooper. That was the only time I've been to the Hollywood Bowl, which was a great experience, but an odd experience. So I'm really excited to go tonight and actually see a concert. And of all people, it's John Williams, which is, insane that we are able to see him. This is a big, big deal to me. And we did see John Williams at Star Wars Celebration, which was amazing that we were able to get into that panel. When Obi-Wan was coming out, John Williams came to that panel and they played not just Star Wars, they played Indiana Jones and Harrison Ford came out and him and John Williams, it was just like, ugh, it was amazing. I was crying. It was just an awesome experience. Where are we sitting? Makeup makes everything a lot better. Let's go. Good food check. We have snacks. Are you ready? Yes, I am so ready. John Williams? <laughs> Do you know him? Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen.